everybody, Ryan and Tracy here at Camp Woodward West. We're at the first annual Mongoose Jam. We're gonna get some interviews with some BMX legends. Legends. What our show's called. The Man, the Legend! The Man, the Legend, Steve McCann with us. Ben Wallace. Jack Fahey. What's up, brother? This is your the very first year of the Mongoose Jam. What mm -hmm. do you think of it so far? I love it. It's a, it's a great concept. You, you're bringing in an amateur into the, the pro rankings of a real contest. Are you enjoying yeah. the first Mongoose Jam? Yeah, it's so much fun. It's the best contest of the year so far, I reckon. What was your amateur's name? We want to give him a um, shout out. Yeah, your name, Brad Thomas, you know who you are. As an amateur, you look up to these pros. So all of a sudden, like, this amateur is riding with guys he looks up to, and, and he has a real part of the team. So it's, um, it's cool, and I think everyone's enjoying it, you know, and then you bring in three categories, you know, all kind of together you got BMX park street and dirt right. and um, you know every guy like wants their teammate to do good because it counts to their score as well I'm having a great time I've tell got, us why I got two wins under the belt already Boom. so Boom. It's, it's not just me though it's a team event so no, 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 it's you. No, it's him. oh yeah it's all me I mean, you can only control yourself and what you're doing, right? You just yep. try to pick up your teammates. And exactly, say, yeah. exactly. You know, it's like you... wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> Someone just died behind us, by the way. Yeah, hey, man. <laughs> I'm sure he's fine. Second yeah, time. You'll be all right. Any uh, gnarly injuries over, the, over your career that you... Um, I've had a few. Yeah. A few injuries. I broke my wrist, broke my scaphoid, took a bit of bone out of my hip to replace it and put a screw through it. Um, I've hit my right eye six times. I don't know if you can see. The oh. scar tissue there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you want to look at the scar yeah. tissue there. Yeah. And I've hit this eye once, and you got a massive scar going go there. Handlebars or? Uh, no, on the ground. I've had my helmet on, I'm just hitting it still. Uh, I broke two of my teeth out the back, uh, but I hit my jaw so hard. Oh. I broke my collarbone, a few ribs. I've done both knees, both ankles. So you've, you've run the gamut. Yeah, I've, the I've, I've had my fair fair share of broken bones. So, and you're I mean, still here. Yeah, I'm still, still here. And I, I won't give it up until I physically have to stop. I've been pretty lucky over the years. I've broken my foot and my broken my hand and um, you know numerous cuts and bruises and you had a couple of concussions. Around, so yeah, I mean, bad. I'm the average person when you <laughs> yeah. think about it. Like. Worst injury you've sustained pain-wise and the most painful tattoo and compare them. Uh, for me so far, it's probably just two fractured ankles. What's the most painful tattoo most you painful got? is definitely the stomach. Can we see it? Oh yeah, yeah, we can see it. Oh, oh that would right hurt now. so bad. All these bottom knuckles right here. But oh you were like, God. forget it, it's happening. Yeah. Did, did you want to stop one, one at one point where you were like, this forget one, it? This one was all right. Like it was just really quick and then I get up, almost fainted. And then I had to do the other side. And this one was just straight four hours of pain. <laughs> I have Still a have to huge, get it painful stomach tattoo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How many times do you have to stick it to know that you can do it in competition with, you know, or do you do every once in a while you're like, I only nailed this one out of ten times in practice, I'm yeah. going to try it because I need the points. That's the fun part. I mean, you could have it so dialed and then you come to an event and you just blow up, you know. You never really know until you get there and, and uh, that's the cool part about BMX is you're always riding on the edge a little bit, you know, because these things are so big and, and um, you have to be flawless to, to ride away from them. It's nice to practice it a lot because, like, well, like we're here right now at Woodward West, it's got a good training facility for anyone who wants to come for the extreme sports because they have the foam pits and the resi mats and the foam pits are good safety mat really if you don't want to, if you've never done a backflip before and you want to learn it the foam pits probably the best base and that's where i learned it and i've probably learned flips in 2002 and i've been able to do them ever since and where can we see you compete next um the juta in ocean city so uh oh, that's august uh, 17. secrets yeah after. yeah definitely <laughs> Never know. <laughs> Let's all yeah. go it's out when place. um when you and Scarlett get into town. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it really? He laughed. He's, he's not gonna. We're happen. never gonna see him <laughs> again. Never again.